You hit your head? What kind of get up is that you're wearing? Stealing me? You. No. I was putting money in. How dare you, Mr. Pearson? Well, go on then. Put it in. Go on! Generous of you. You're not a nice man, Mr. Pearson. My goodness. <laughs> you busy, Arthur? All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. On this episode, we're about to go hunting with Char. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up, then. Let's go. Before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people... Well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in, and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Yeah. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Let me guess, not perfect. Job. Yep. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Scavenger birds. No. Look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. 
Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. Yeah, it's been shot, all right. What? <coughs> oh, Terrell. Guys, I gotta read up on how to get these perfect pellets because every so every pellet an is a poor no, pellet. Been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison on the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Oh, yeah, I'll take the moon, huh? You find anything, Arthur? Folks haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Okay. Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Come on. Wait oh. up. We're riding fast now. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said... Did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. Oh, oh my it's goodness. What business of mine? Good God, you're crazy. I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. All right. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right, I'll get out of here. Just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm going to see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
use this lockbox. Poison throwing knife, man. Yeah, Take our bison back. Oh my goodness! Damn. Take our poor bison pelt back. Let's go, boy. Out this stranger. Could be something important. In the middle of the night, though. Yeah. Hey there, friend. Come. Stop on by for a moment. The name's William. William. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Plants. Oh, quite the word I'd use. Well, <laughs> let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly. Nasty. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. All this help, you deserve something in return. This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I yeah. look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. Yeah, me too. Get up. Hey, hey, that's my horse. My bad. <laughs> this baby seems right. From you, dude. Yep. I just—I didn't mean to get on your horse. Take it easy now. Where are you going? 
going the wrong way, guys. We are not heading back to camp this way. It is coming down now. Let's see you really use some good meat for this stew. Just make sure it goes into the pot, not your pocket. Very good. This will help the stew. This should keep us fully stocked. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Good job, Mr. Morgan. We'll sleep until noon, guys, and see if Javier is ready to rob a homestead. Looks that way. The 
that's fine. So, uh, I was talking to little Dex. There's a fine boy you got. If he's mine, of course he's yours. It's the truest of gifts, a child. Yet you push him away. I ain't no kind of father. I wish the boy no harm, but well, you know how we live. We live free. If you say so. You seem better. Yeah, almost feel normal again. All right. Hello, Arthur. Another day, another dollar. Yes, indeed. You busy, Arthur? Not too busy. Why? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... Said it was really... Freakish. Freakish. Family local boogeymen, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. Well, sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's Get. On the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, or less. Here we go, guys. Let's go rob a homestead. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Okay. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. What? They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? <sighs> you got your binoculars? Yeah. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. All right. get a proper look at the place well hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us too coast seems clear so far yeah so far hey keep it down I hear voices
Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Just stay quiet. What? Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I was gone for ten minutes, I was. Now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? Yo, oh, Edie, get all the jam! You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Oh my gosh. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay, you take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Stay low, Has to be under here. There's no place else that could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. Do you want the money or not? Come on. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Here, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. 
Right, sounds good. Hey, boy. Alright, guys. That is going to be it for this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, yeah, we uh, we killed those guys. We uh, investigated a uh, bunch of bison getting killed and uh, got to the bottom of that thing with Charles. And uh, yeah, that's about all we got. I got to say about all, any of that. Um, we did not try to steal a guy's horse, but we did accidentally get on it, and we had, so we wound up fighting the plant guy. Um, but yeah, if you guys like what you saw, you know what to do, and I'll see you on the next one. Later, guys.